Hey guys, this is going to be a video on how to install the LCPD FR mod, which is a a police simulator. The main reason I'm showing this video is that a lot of people who are not very maybe computer literate are having trouble installing some other mods on my channel and they have crashes when they try to boot up the game. So this should fix most of those crashes because it basically takes out the human error in the installations, the manual installations. So if you're having trouble with say the Hulk mod or first person or the zombie mod and it's crashing, try installing this and it should fix it for you. I'd say probably 90% of the time it would fix it. So anyways, this mod is actually really cool. It is a police simulation and it allows you to go to calls like where people are having gunfights and make arrests and put them in your car, call for backup and all this cool stuff. So the first thing you need to do to install it is you have to download it and I'll include this link in the description and it's this download here there might be some advertisements downloads but it's this gray one right here so you click download and you'll get this RAR file right here so you're gonna need WinRAR to open it which is free you can find that on Google and I'll see if I can include a link to that also but you double click on that and you need to extract this one right there and you can just right click and go to extract here and you'll get the CXE and a readme file you can delete the readme file but the CXE right here is the installer for the mod so it's pretty straightforward but there's actually some hiccups that people might be experiencing so I'll go through it and show you what to do where so you boot up the installer say yes whatever and then you go to next and now here's where the first hiccup may come into play the, for me, I already have them all installed, but for some people they might have X's here. Um, the last two, Legitimate Copy GTA and Windows Live, are pretty much probably going to be alright for everybody. Um, you should have Windows Live if you installed it and play multiplayer, but this first one was giving me trouble on the other my other computer, and it had an X, and when I went to Google to search for that, first thing I downloaded would never turn this into a check mark. And for some reason, Google gives you, I guess, an older version or a non-full version. So after some searching, I found the actual link, and it is this one right here. I'll include this in the description. But anyways, you select the language you want and click download and install it, which is is really straightforward. So after you do that, that check mark should appear. You might also have trouble with this Visual C++ redistributable, and if you you got to be real careful what you search for. Um, you might get the development kit or whatever. So I have both the links um, that you will need. It's, you only need one. It depends on your version of Windows. Uh, for me, I have the x86 version. But yours might be x64, which I think is the 32-bit. Because I have a 64-bit and it says this. I think you can f find yours by hitting the Windows button E pulling up an explorer, going to your hard drive, and looking at the number next to your program files. Mine is x86. You might not have, if yours is x64, it might not say anything. But I also have one that doesn't say anything. But anyways, I think that's where you find it. So you're going to pick the one you need, download it, install it, and the check mark should come there. And then you can progress. So select the location. Um, the default location should be fine. And then here's another place where you might have hiccups. If you have other mods installed that are ASI mods, like the first person mod, the Hulk mod, I think the Iron Man mod, um, the zombie mod I showed people how to install, they require these files. And if they work, you want to uncheck them. So you're going to uncheck everything besides the LCPDFR. Now, if your mod doesn't work, like your Hulk mod crashes, you want to leave these checked. The D sound, the .NET, and the C++. Because that's going to reinstall them and hopefully fix any problems that may have occurred when you tried to install it the first time. 
these are files that you know you copied and just dragged into your GTA full folder. So these by leaving these checked, it will reinstall them. I say, I say uncheck them if yours works already because these may, but when you're watching this video, may be out of date. There may be newer ones that are required for newer mods. So if yours works, I recommend unchecking them and only leaving the last one checked. Which mine works, so that's what I'm going to do. If you don't know, then just check them besides this last one. X Liblist, don't check that one in any situation. Unless that's for if your D sound doesn't work for some reason. But for m most cases, you're going to just ignore that. So anyways, you click next, then you get this hardcore mode, it makes it harder, um, it says exceedingly difficult, so I don't think it's going to be very fun if you enable that. And then these are callouts, which are events you can attend. Um, if you find them annoying, you can disable it, but I think they're kind of cool, so just leave it enabled, and then hit next. And then this is a thing to synchronize your account, you can, don't have to do that, you can just click next. And here's a summary of all your options you chose and then you hit next and for me it's asking because I already have it installed if I want to override it just say yes and next now it's installed and it says to start it you just press alt P and I think you can hit F8 to do something else I, I'm not familiar with the controls at the moment but uh, it's in that readme I believe so get that out of recycling bin if you deleted it but click finish and now the mod is installed and you can have some cool fun. So I hope that helps and good luck.